Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, thanks to the patron picks and Dark Descent Records having a ridiculous record-breaking shipping achievement, we have Purifying Concentrated Ground by Dead Congregation, a 10-inch on vinyl, uh, I'm just not the biggest fan of 10 inches. I, I don't know why. I only have like three in my entire collection. But I, I don't know. I normally just try and get the cassette versions of those releases. And this is the remastered edition. It's Martyr Doom Productions. So, you know, you get that seal of evil quality, but also some of my favorite Dead Congregation songs that sound legit better than ever. It's so, like, airtight, evil, and yet just organically heavy and awesome. To me, Dead Congregation represent everything awesome in modern death metal and have since first emerging as nuclear winter from the abyss of you know Greece and ever since I first heard you know cause the first thing I ever heard was Graves of the Archangels and it just was one of those albums where it was like whoa, this band's new, and this is what they sound like? Like, holy shit, that's awesome. So, this bad boy, this mini LP, is just probably some of the more barbaric Dead Congregation songs they've ever recorded, alongside some the Sombre Doom mini LP, which is, I, I love that release, but this is like a prelude to Graves of the Archangels, which, again, like I said, is one of my personal favorite records of all time. I'm so glad I have it on vinyl. This is the only Dead Congregation wax I'm missing, but I remember going with Hal to Brooklyn to see them live, and just being decimated, and, like, it was already a heavy day, like, fetid, witch vomit, siege column, mass retaliation, massive retaliation, it was just, like, a heavy day, and then you just get crushed, and it was awesome, but from Vomit Christ, Lucid Curse, Feasting Angel Cunts, Arguing an Eternal War, and downfall, Downward Spiral of Morbidity, every track on this monster is top shelf death fucking metal. If you're a fan of early incantation and you've never heard Dead Congregation, what are you doing? Like, I would even say up to, and maybe even a little bit past, Blasphemy, you have that, like, incantation vibe on Dead Congregation releases, like, where it's like, whoa, like, that totally sounds like incantation. And they're printed on these, like, real nice, hard shell pro tapes. The red's badass looking. But it sounds so good. Like, I want to get this Putamentium reissue so badly. 
but I, I'm absolutely in love with this production. Like, the production on here, like, the remastered version, like, I, I know these songs, and they sound so just good. And I don't know if it's because, like, I haven't heard them in a while, but still, like, I've heard these songs plenty of times in the past, but it just legit sounds like a little refreshed and I don't know if it's again my just weird well I wouldn't even say weird my love of death metal in the summer like I was I was doing chores in these high ass bushes so thank you Eric sick fucking cemetery urn long sleeve but I didn't want to get risk the heat stroke. Fuck it, you know? Because I wanted to get to you folks and talk about some dead congregation because any time I get to do that is a good fucking time. But if you never heard Graves of the Archangels, what are you doing? Seriously. This right here is a monolith of modern death metal. And when I say modern, I kind of mean like mid-2000s, but still, it was just something that was like, wow, this fucking is different, but something similar that I like and knew, but just, like, you got those like immolation parts like that, where it's just like, Fuck yeah, that sounds like immolation on steroids. And that's one of the great things about Dead Congregation. It has an immolation vibe, but it still sounds like Dead Congregation because to me, Dead Congregation have established their own distinct sound. I could pick them out of a lineup. If you had to compare them with like, you know, like you put it next to a couple other bands, and I, I could definitely pick out Dead Congregation. They just have a distinct guitar thing. They do a lot that I just love, and it's just so evil sounding. I don't know how you couldn't pick it out of a lineup, because they take that like incantation tre like tremolo and just like legitimately bathe it in the guts of hell and it's fucking great in every way possible i love dead congregation and yeah i'm a little biased to purifying concentrated ground but like i you know i haven't heard the remastered version until yesterday and i've just been completely obsessed with it. it has this is all I've been listening to and I got all that you know new shit but this has just been just crushing um real quick let me see if it says who fully remastered for heavier sonic torture at Nightbreeze Studio by K Costopolis 2022. Yo, sorry if I butchered your name, but ridiculous job here. This sounds incredible. Like, I, I can't get over how good this mini LP sounds on the tape. <laughs> How can you not like Dead Congregation? I know my microphone might not even be picking that up, but go listen for yourself. Link will be in the video description. Dead Congregation, purifying concentrated ground. 
still available on 10 inch vinyl as well as CD and cassette for you nuclear winter. Well, just go to the Dead Congregation Bandcamp. I'll put the link in the video description. But thank you to the Patreon account for making today's video possible. Oh, sorry. But, uh, seriously, thank you for watching. Thank you to the Patreon account. And thank you to Dead Congregation for keeping death metal fucking evil during a time where it just wasn't a hundred percent what it once was if you get what I'm saying but there were, there were certain bands that were pushing it and still keeping it fucking evil and keeping it ancient sounding and just dope and Dead Congregation, to me, represent the leader of that pack that is, like, modern death metal. And, to me, they're the fucking champions. And I mean that. And if you know me personally, you 100% know I'm not fucking around. Because I love Dead Congregation. Like... I know people think, like, you know, like, oh, like, God Flesh is your favorite band, Blood Incantation is your favorite band, Sex the Voice, but, like, at the end of the day, honestly, when it comes to death metal, it really might be Dead Congregation. Like, it's just, like, I, I can never, like, not want to put one of their releases on. There's never a track where I'm like, ah, this one, the fucking, you know, whatever. There's never a couple tracks, album, or even mini release, or split. It's always banger, 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 banger. It's like each track is them sonically nailing Christ to the cross. It's great. If you love your death metal primal and just fucking evil as shit, you can't go wrong with Dead Congregation and especially Purifying Consecrated Ground. Martyr Doom hails also Nuclear Winter Records. If you see that logo and you don't recognize the band, it's worth a blind buy. I know these days shit's gnarly, but legit, like, I, there's not a release they've done that's even mediocre. So, like, Nuclear Winter is one of those record labels that is just fire, fire, fire. Like, they, they're doing the Excarnated Entity full length. Like, I need to get the Excarnated Entity. LP, like, they're just such an awesome label, I wish they were stateside, but still, like, it's so good, and their shit's always, like, you just gotta go on certain distros and stuff, and, and like, look around, but luckily, that Dead Congregation tape was on the, uh, Dark Descent website, so, boom, I still don't know how, from... July 5th to July 7th, like, this is the, that's the fastest I've ever gotten an order from, like, across the country or anything, like, so I'm just like, whoa, that's crazy, but I'm so stoked, like, thank you, Matt and Dark Descent for just doing an amazing, amazing job. But mostly thank you to the patron account, and right now the contest is still going. Two t-shirts, a 7-inch, and a bunch of bonus shit, but uh, Nick Dwyer, your stuff should be arriving in a couple days. You have two separate packages, and I sent you your tracking number, brother. Enjoy, but a $5 buy-in on the Patreon gets you two t-shirts. A very rare, non-offensive fluid shirt.
and the hemorrhage shirt. Also, the carrion feast by Impure. Hail Satan, fuck the world. This is out of print. And you get a bunch of bonus sick shit as well, so it's definitely worth joining. Five to ten dollar buy in to the contest, though. Like, just in that realm, that's perfect. If you want to go higher, that's up to you, but five to ten dollars, I think that's fair for two t shirts, a seven inch, and a bunch of extra shit. But thanks for watching, it means a lot to me. We fucking roll. Hell. <laughs> boop, boop, boop.